everybody, Mega Do 454 here, your friendly Let's Player. In the last part, we seen Sephiroth going crazy and get Genova. In this part, we're going to see what happens. I am the chosen one. I've been chosen to be the leader of this planet. I have orders to take this planet back from you stupid people for the Cetra. What am I supposed to be sad about? Racist! Zephyroth, I trusted you! No, you're not the Zephyroth I used to know! Are we gonna get an epic battle? Nope. We're taken back to the present. What happened, though? It seems Cloud Memory's incomplete. And that's the end of my story. Wait a damn minute! Ain't that more? I don't remember. See? It's an incomplete memory. What happened to Sephiroth? In terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. Official records state Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspapers. Shinran Incorporated owns the paper, so you can't rely on that information. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened then. I challenged Sephiroth and lived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. Seems like a lot uh, a lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Genova? It was in the Shinra building, right? Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone else carry it out after that? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephiroth? Damn! Don't none of this make sense! I'm going, 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 gone! And I'm leaving the thinking to you. Okay. Yo, Cloud! Let's get a move on. Wait a second. Cloud, what's wrong? You just gonna stand there while Sephiroth heads for the Promised Land? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get into no Promised Land. If they do, then we're all screwed. You know what I'm saying? Well, that certainly is a... <laughs> slightly beautiful speech. I guess we'll say that. <laughs> Y'all just leave it to me. Yeah. Oh, brother. Cloud. How bad was I when Sephiroth cut me? I thought you were a goner. I was really sad. No, she wasn't asking if she was gonna die. She asked how bad the wound was. But I guess that kind of counts. I... The Ancients, Cetra, Genova, Sephiroth, and myself. Let's go. Barret's waiting. Alright. What a fascinating story. Glad you liked it, Red 13. Hey, Tifa. What's up? Oh, Cloud. Let me give you this. Received a PHS. A personal... Well, it's really a party handling system. But... It's a cell phone, technically. Changing party members. Access the menu and select PHS. It can only be used on the world map or at a save point, which really limits it. PHS will put us in constant contact with each other. I'm going on ahead. Whatever. I couldn't tell we could stay at the end if we want to. Now we can exit calm. Uh, let's check out the bar. Of course, a bunch of drunks. Uh, this guy's the kid's father who's hanging out outside waiting for him. And there's the kitchen. We're not allowed to go in there, unfortunately. If we could, I'd raid all the food I could. Here's the item shop. You wouldn't believe it because of that. This is actually the materia shop. And... Oh, you can't really see that. But there's a sword on this sign. And it's the weapon shop. So, we're going to check the materia and weapon shop first. We won't worry about the item shop, really. But I'll show you what stocks. This is the weapon store. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Anyway, these are all like downgrades, but at least buy one of each. It's not a downgrade for Tifa, but buy it. She's not going to be used often. Full metal staff's an upgrade. And a single mithril armament will upgrade Eris, but it's bad. Unfortunately, so... Besides, we already have four owned and two equipped. 
go anyway. Dang it. We still have ethers, don't we? This is the materia store. It's right. It's combined with the um, weapon store. Cool. There's a new materia. In fact, there are two new materia. Heal and Earth. Earth, as it sounds, will cast something like Earthquake. Heal. Wait, hang on, let me sell some ethers. Heal, as it sounds, will essentially heal a party member of status ailments. So, if you're familiar with Mother, there is a spell in Mother called uh, PSI or PK Heal. Alpha, Beta, Epsilon, and Omega. And we can't. I just bought another one, didn't I? Ugh. Take one back at least. Seriously. I don't need two. Now we're going to check the wares of the item shop. Oh, and remember that tower over there. It's going to be important at the end of the game. This is the item store. Now I don't mean like the end of the game like the third disc. I'm talking like the very, very end of the game. Okay, so this store um, sells potions, phoenix down, Antidotes, eye drops, hyper, tranquilizer, and tents. Actually, we're gonna buy two of those. And that's that. Alright, then we're all set. I'm serious about the tower, though. And here we go. Out, traveling about again. Now, uh, something interesting that you might want to consider... Um, currently, if I'm not mistaken, oh, no, I was going to say, Eris's magic is supposed to go over clouds at this moment, I guess not, though, hang on, let's equip her with that new weapon, full metal staff, uh, let's give her a protect vest, she'll need it, you a talisman, and you a star pendant. There. Okay. You take a heal. You're a designated healer. As well as, you know, a few spells kind of person. Now, something interesting is that you can give, um, Eris the enemy skill, and she'll put it to good use, because most, because all of it is magic-based attacks. Um, ma Matra magic is non-elemental at its current moment. Uh, at the moment... But later on, you're going to find, like, other spells that are specific elements. So, Eris could really use that enemy skill if you want. I'm going to keep it on Cloud, uh, because he's because he's got a lot of endurance, and I don't think Barrett could use it very well if I gave it to him. Is this new? Okay, that was not a new battle. But, uh, once we clear this mountain pass, we should be encountering new battles. Uh, some old, I bet, but you know how that goes. Okay, so now we're approaching a farm, and this is a new battle. I can know that. And we're back attacked. Lovely. Thank you, Barrett, for protecting Eris. And thank you for missing completely. And I think Flaming Peck is a chance of, uh... Yeah, uh, it's got a chance of making someone mad or fury. Yeah, it's something else. Like that. I know I've told you this like a million times before, but we need Barrett to kill 80 enemies in order for him to get level 2. But I'm not necessarily concerned with the last few party members. I'm concerned with Eris, though, because, um... Uh... God, how do I say it without... Mm, let's just say that her final limit break is... Uh... Kick-ass. So anyway, let's head to here. We do kind of need a heal. Wait. Cheerful... Oh my god. Chocobos! Chocobos, Chocobos! Chocobos! Chocobos. Hey, buddy. What's up? 
Wark. Wark, Wark, Wark. Uh, Wark? What the fuzz? I'm pretty sure some of you might find that a little uh, cute, maybe. I'm pretty sure not, though, because uh, um, today something cute would probably look cute, too. They're just polygon forms. Jeez, those two, those two next to each other are kind of weird. Work. What, are you going to eat me? Receive Choco Mog Materia. Thank you, Chocobo. Forget what I said, that dance was cute. Now that we have a new Materia... Holy mackerel. Magic plus one, max HP minus two, but ma max MP plus two percent. Uh, Barrett is really the only one who can equip that, but... But... You have to give it to Cloud. Yes, I'm making this perfectly clear. We must give that to Cloud. Uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Arrange, arrange, exchange. Who did I give that? Ah, oh, there's the element. So give that to me, Barrett. Jeez. Elemental to you, all. And lightning. There, once again, we no longer have any more materia to spare. That could be a high potion. So, the reason I'm doing that is because we'll eventually get another materia that'll allow you to attack long range. And with the wind elemental, there's some enemies in this game that are weak against wind magic, but you can't really cast any. Do we have. No, we don't have a thousand. Jill. Might as well just call it Jill from now on. I mean, Gil, Jill, eh, you know, preference. Thing of crossing the marshes? Um, yeah, for at least a Sephiroth, I guess. Hmm. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolum. Midgar Zolum? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall! Yeah, I'm not screwing with that. It picks up on footsteps that enter the marshes. And then, BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy a Chocobo at the Choco, Billy and Ch Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocobo Farm. Ah, try saying that five times fast. To purchase a Chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Thanks for telling me that, old man. Okay, so it looks to be that we're running short on time, and I have to really quick get myself a thousand Jill so that way I can buy something from that kid, so that way we can get a Chocobo, or actually buy a few things. So, um, until the next part, I'll see you all then. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, see you then.